another new DSLR has come out. It is full frame, and it, of course, it's the Nikon D600. Rumors are over. This is a true camera. Here we go. I'm not going to sit here and throw specs at you because there's, you know, you've probably read them a thousand times already over the past couple months. And I made a video already, uh, you know, I gave my thoughts, I think it was about, you know, four or five months ago when the rumors first came out. And I thought it was going to be like a gimmicky type of camera. So if you want, check that out in my videos. So I'm just going to tell you the pros and cons I see about this camera and very, very simple. Uh, you can pre-order it now. I know that it comes on the 18th. It actually is being delivered to the stores. The 18th and the 19th and it starts off at $29.99 for, for so for $2100 you can now get an HD full HD 1080p uh, full frame camera so that's actually really exciting and I thought you know this was just some kind of ploy that it was really a rumor but it's obviously true uh, so as I said it's it's a very very uh, HD or it's a very very you know heavy video camera so I'm guessing Nikon really is trying to catch up in regards to that in their full frame game. Uh, it shoots 1080p at 24 frames a second and 30. Kind of wish it did 60 at 1080p, but at 720, um, you, you can do your 60 frames a second for that true slow-mo. And it has a mic input and everything like that. So really, really cool. Uh, other things I feel good are the 24 megapixels. Uh, it's not too large of a file as I'd say a D800, which the D600 is basically its little baby sister. Um, and you can really tell that Nikon is uh, going after the more consumer lower end market because they put in a dual SD card slot and nothing to do with compact flash like the D700, you know, like all the higher end cameras use. So that's interesting. Intervalometer is interesting for, um, for longer shooting over a period of time. Uh, it is being, you can get, it's the ENEL 15 battery. So if you already had the D7000, you're trading that in, um, you can use that. It's the same battery used with the D800, the D800E. And like the D3200, it's got that Wi-Fi capability adapter that you can put on and you can look at your, you know, through your iPhone, etc., something like that. So those are the quick things that I like. Um, but low light, you know, I'm not too sure. There is pictures, of course, online. There are sample pictures, but I don't know how the sensor is going to handle it. Yes, it's full frame, but, you know, I don't know. It's, you know, it's been seen that the D700 has outshot the D800 and low light situation so is this on the same you know route i'm not sure so once again to get hands on that would be better the build quality now it is smaller than the d800 and the d700 and that's very interesting um it's still going to be a nicely built body i you know but i i want that beefy you know that beefy camera body in my hand it's just i like the bigger feeling in regards to the body because it's just it just feels better, feels better in the hands. It only shoots a one four thousandth of a second at the higher end of the shutter speed. Kind of wish it went a little longer. I mean, I don't find myself, you know, going using that quick of shutter speeds. But once again, why not like one eight, eight thousandth of a second? Um, it's got a whole new battery grip. Now, it's not as awful as the D100 battery grip, but this is the MBD14, which runs for 275 bucks. And that's for pre-order now. Once again, not too pricey of a grip still a little up there but i'm disappointed that they're going with something completely new and basically the whole thing about this is now anyone getting a full frame game it's a really cool thing to have 2100 bucks i think it's 2700 bucks to get the the 24 to 85 full frame lens yeah i would say just get the body don't get it with the, that lens because it's not going to be that good kind of like any kit lens you get so overall, I think the D600 is really, really interesting. As I said, there's a lot of, a lot of pros, but the, the main con for me, or the thing I don't know yet is the low light shooting. Obviously one of the most important things that you can get for full frame. That's one reason why you go full frame, but really interesting. Now you got full frame with video, a whole lot of things, a nice little, uh, you know, megapixel count. But so that's my opinion. I think D6, uh, D600 is you know, it's finally reality. It's really cool. And let me know down below what you guys think. Obviously, you guys have been talking about this, but I'd be really interested to see, you know, if you have this D700 like I do, are you going to move because it has a video or not? I don't find myself moving. D700 is a great low light camera and it's one of the best besides like a D3S, etc. 
I don't find me making the jump. Do you make the jump? Or, you know, I see a lot of people are going to trade in their D7000s, etc., to get the 600. So let me know down below. What are your favorite pros? What's your biggest cons or drawbacks about this camera? It'd be really, really interesting. Of course, I had to report on the D600. Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye. Please subscribe. Let me know down below what you think. And yeah, let me know if you guys are getting this camera. I'm not, though. Take it easy. Enjoy.